Hello everyone, welcome to 3D Design at Cabinet.com. In this lesson, I'm going to be going over some of the sub-D basics. So what exactly is sub-D? Well, sub-D is a modeling process that was developed in Elias a few years ago. It uses cage and limit surface to simulate polygonal modeling such as Blender and Maya. However, it is a little bit different that it actually creates nerve surface. So if you look at the modeling window over here, there are two cubes. One is made in sub D and the other is made using nerves. They're very similar in that CVs control the shape. However, the resulting surface is a little bit different. So if I just turn on the box mode shade, so you'll see that it's a cube, but the resulting surface is a little bit different if you actually shade it up. Now these CV structures, this is what's called a cage and that controls the shape of the sub D surface. So the sub the resulting sub D surface is uh, called a limit surface. And this is what you're actually going to be seeing. Now, a little, it's a little bit different then a polygon modeling in that it, this is actually a nerves surface. So if I were to pick surface, I'm just going to copy and paste it like this. You'll see that it's actually made out of CV structure, like a regular nerves modeling. Now that actually creates a, quite a huge advantage over polygon modeling. And I'm going to show you guys why. Now, one of the advantages of, so let me just hide these over here like this. One of the advantage of polygon modeling is that it's really quick. Now, if I take a CV, for example, over here, and I, let's say I wanted to change the height of this offender peak over here, I can just drag it up like this. And that's a super quick. Now, if you were to do that with a regular NARS modeling, you would have to blend everything in. You got to make sure that all the fenders are good and do all this with, uh, with the sub name modeling, it was just done like that. And it's really easy to change it. And because all the transitions are curvature, it's really easy to control. So if I were to just to do an evaluation here, if I were to click on the boundaries, uh, let me just turn that off. If I just click on the boundaries, you'll notice that it's actually curvature between all the surfaces. Now, because of the control amount of control that's available, it's going to be really hard to achieve a really nice highlight. However, it is still curvature and it actually flows really nice between the surfaces. Now, one of the advantage of a sub D process versus um, a regular polygon modeling is that because the resultant surface is actually in nerves, you can use a regular nerves tool. So let's say if I want to project a set of feature over here. So if I were to grab this one, I'm just going to just project a curve over here like this. All right. And I'm just going to go ahead and trim now. I'm actually able to trim a shape within the sub D surface or the limit surface. I can do the same thing over here as well. This is what's called a hybrid modeling when you guys are combining sub D modeling with regular nurse modeling. So let's say I want to blend these in. So I'm just going to put a fillet. So if I were to grab a surface fillet and let's just make it a little bit smaller and I'm just going to click on all of these surfaces over here and do this. So I'm just going to make sure that the direction uh, of the surface is correct. And I'm just going to say build. It's going to take a little time though, but I am actually able to combine these two elements and make it like this. So that's one of the huge advantages of sub D modeling over polygon modeling. All right. So that is the basics of sub D. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Want to learn Autodesk Alias and digital sculpting? Then become a member at 3ddesignacademy.com where you'll find hundreds of video tutorials ranging from basics, including curve creations, intermediate level tutorials such as this wheel, all the way to class A modeling of the entire car exterior. Interested? Visit 3ddesignacademy.com.